Okay, Amy. I got through every room and I cleared them very fast because I love you and I want you to be happy, even if it's with somebody else. Did that new tactic work? No. You just called it a tactic. Can we get in the venue or not? Not quite yet. There's one more vent we can't get into and our snake cam broke. We got another one on the way. It'll be here in about six hours. What? No, we need it now. People are already here. I'm sorry. The vent is very tight and no one on my team can get into it. I've been doing a lot of Pilates, so I'm pretty huge at this point. I'm going in. What? There's no hole too small for Charles Boyle to squeeze himself into. Look, this is all my fault. I put the announcement in the paper and ruined this day. And now I'm going to be the one to fix it. Get ready, you two. I'm about to save this. <laughs> there was a bomb! Damn it, Dario. Why'd you say there was no bomb? Because I wanted to kill Amy. Then why did you call in the threat? I didn't. My daughter found my hidden room and discovered some blueprints. <sighs> Yes, fine, Teddy, you were right. Now, can you please get the bomb out of the vent and dispose of it somewhere? Honestly, I wish we could, but it's too dangerous to move. We have to defuse it on site. I have to evacuate this entire block. It's going to take all night. Wait, so you're saying? Wedding's off. For real. It's over. Jakey, what's this that I hear that there's no rabbi? Not now, Aunt Linda! OK, so we just finished processing Moretti. Did you talk to our parents? Yeah, they ended up having dinner together. It sounded like they had fun. Our dad's only gotten one arm wrestling match. Who won? Neither. They both threw out their shoulders. <sighs> what a disaster. Yeah, but look, I know it seems like everything sucks, but why don't we just get married tomorrow? You know, we won't have a venue or a band or any of our guests, but we could go to City Hall. <sighs> Jake, do you really want to get married in the same place people go to get restraining orders? Amy Santiago, I would marry you anytime, any place. I would marry you in the steaming filth of the Guanas Canal. Sweet, but also gross. I would marry you on the G train in the summertime when the air conditioning is broken. Damn, really? I would marry you on top of the Empire State Building. Well, that sounds kind of nice. During a King Kong attack. Oh yeah, that's not good. OK, City Hall it is. No! I was eavesdropping. I'm always eavesdropping. I don't like it. Look, I didn't spend the last seven years watching your love ripen, only to have it sullied by a city hall wedding. You're getting married right here, right now. What? Come on, Boyle, I don't even have a dress. You can wear Gina's. I'm sure it's white. There's no way Gina was going to wear a white dress to my wedding. No, I definitely was. What? I thought you'd just wear a gray pantsuit or something. I would never wear a gray pantsuit to your wedding. I promise you that. This is happening. Jake and Amy are getting married tonight. Title of my sex tape. What? Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Wait! I gotta look for work! Wow, you look beautiful. Thank you. This dress is incredible. Gina, this would have been so crazy if you wore this to our wedding. I know. Hey, Amy, I know I ruined your bear, but I made you a new one. It's a shower curtain. Uh. Yep, Terry fumbled the task. What? We got you a bouquet. Wow, that's gorgeous. Thank you. Where did those come from? Alicia found a florist in the city that was still open and picked them up. <gasps> All right, keep it in your pants. OK, here we go. Jake, Amy. Let's go downstairs. It's wedding time! 